I mean, that thing looks like it came from the future. Tesla is aiming to produce about 100 Tesla semi-electric trucks in the last days of the year while Volvo Trucks North America announced it received its largest global order of Class 8 electric semi-trucks with the Maersk-owned performance team at 126 units. So in this electric truck race, how will Tesla catch up with Volvo, the legacy auto manufacturing giant? Let's find out in today's episode of Tesla Car world. Welcome back to the channel, friends. Before we begin, please show your support by subscribing if you haven't already and ringing the bell so you won't miss out on any of our interesting videos in the future. Now, let's get started with today's content. Volvo's new VNR Electric, designed for local and regional hauls, was the market's first heavy-duty electric truck. Tesla is competing with Volvo to deliver electric truck models by the end of the year. So how does the price of both trucks compare? Volvo has certified 18 dealers to handle electric trucks. Another 55 are in the process at a cost of $150,000 to $300,000 at a dealership. This was twice as expensive as the Tesla Semi. Tesla's direct consumer model seems to change the game for buyers, eliminating the long delays of haggling over prices at a dealership. Tesla hasn't publicly announced a sales price yet. Of course, potential buyers of the Semi will need to know this critical piece of information before placing an order. Tesla had said the 300 mile range version of the semi would cost 150,000 and that the 500 mile version 180,000. Other Tesla models prices have risen in the last year due to inflationary pressures and supply chain issues. So we predict the Tesla semi can increase in price by about $10,000. So a Tesla semi will run you about 190,000. Furthermore, the Tesla semi would be eligible for a tax break of up to $40,000 under a Senate approved subsidy program program in the United States. If the price doesn't change, the 300-mile version will cost $110,000 and the 500-mile version will cost $140,000 after deducting tax credits. Trucks are its ability to transport goods and tonnage. So which out of the two can haul the most? Class A trucks have a total limit, including a truck plus trailer with a load of 80,000 pounds, and the tractor itself weighs between 12 to 25,000 pounds. But the difference lies in what it can carry. Tesla only mentioned an 82,000 pound total weight because electric trucks are allowed an extra 2,000 pounds. Tesla never confirmed the weight of the Tesla Semi or its load capacity, as it would be important information to have. Oops. After all, the weight of a load will vary dramatically. For example, a load of potato chips will weigh significantly less than a load of bottled water. Key issue for truck operators is how much of the total weight limit is already claimed by this battery-powered truck. Hopefully, the semi-truck's weight details will be released in the coming months. Volvo's VNR Electric also has a full load of 82,000 pounds, including a 2,000 pound allowance to offset the weight of the batteries, making for a heavy truck. However, after a test drive, a trucker was told that the trailer was fully loaded with a 76,000 pound load, thanks to several pallet loads of sand in the trailer. So how is the electric motor of both the Semi and the Volvo VNR Electric? Are three times the power than any diesel truck on the road right now. Volvo's electric motors and iShift two-speed automatic transmission system are installed between the frame rails, just behind the truck's cab. This integrated electric drive train provides smooth, quiet performance and immediate maximum torque when the throttle pedal is pressed. The 340 kilowatt motors produce 455 horsepower and up to 4,051 pound-feet of torque. So essentially we're using the, 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 the plaid uh, Model S, Model X uh, powertrain. The Semi uses three electric motors that are based on the ones in the Plaid spec Model S and X. The drive unit in a Tesla Model S Plaid has an output of 1,020 horsepower and 1,050 pound-feet of torque. The Semi has two times more horsepower but eight times less torque than the Volvo VNR Electric. More torque makes the VNR Electric accelerate harder, assuming the weight stays the same. A low-weight, high-torque vehicle accelerates ferociously off the line 
line, pushing you back into the seat as if you were in a rocket launch at the batteries of these two monstrous trucks. For the VNR Electric, the previous 264 kilowatt hour battery has been replaced with a new 375 kilowatt hour version with four individual batteries. Moreover, a new six battery version of the battery system has a total capacity of 565 kilowatt hours. Together with the switch to new batteries, Volvo's VNR Electric will be able to fast charge at up to 250 kilowatts, which is great, but how long will it take to charge up? Depending on the version, charging to 80% state of charge should take no more than 60 minutes with a 375 kilowatt hour or 90 minutes with a 565 kilowatt hour. The Volvo Groove and Pilot Company, North America's largest travel center operator, have signed a letter of intent to develop a national public charging network to support the expansion of the VNR electric trucks. For comparison, the Semi will be available in two versions as well. A long-range model will have approximately 1,000 kilowatt hours of battery, and a standard version will have about 600. Tesla has previously claimed this allows the Semi to recharge 80% of its quoted capacity in over 30 minutes. Moreover, Tesla developed a new V4 1,000 kilowatt or 1 megawatt charging cable that uses new immersion cooling technology. Charging power must be increased four times if we compare a 1 megawatt to a 250 kilowatt Volvo charger, and potentially maintained longer. So how big of a difference is the VNR Electric's range when compared to the Tesla Semi? The first generation of the Volvo VNR Electric had an operating range of up to 150 miles. Now, an enhanced version of the Class 8 electric truck is available with an operational range of up to 275 miles. With a top range of 275 miles, the VNR Electric can make a one-way trip of just over 100 miles, make a return trip of the same length, and still have some range left over. The other reason that it's a beast is because it's also efficient and you, know, you can go 500 miles on a single charge jump. Meanwhile, Tesla has almost twice the range of the VNR Electric. It has released a time-lapse video of its Tesla semi-electric truck completing a 500-mile trip with a full load on a single charge. A 500-mile range is something many once thought impossible. Back in 2020, tech titan and fellow billionaire Bill Gates argued in a blog post that the semi would probably never work since batteries are too heavy. However, this truck's range could blow the competition out of the water. As of right now, competing all-electric trucks aren't even close to Tesla's 500-mile figure. It's also unclear how well the semi will perform in cold weather. To help it in cold weather, the truck will have battery heating and other features. But what features does the VNR Electric have that make it stand out more than the Tesla semi? Let's take a look on the inside. Volvo VNR Electric set out to design a steering solution that would be exactly the right height and angle no matter who's behind the wheel. With a three-way neck tilt, driving Drivers have an almost endless array of choices for positioning the wheel exactly where they prefer it. At the heart of the instrument cluster is a 5-inch driver color display, with improved graphics that works with steering wheel mounted controls to provide key operating parameters as well as trip information, performance data, and a wide range of vehicle diagnostics. But what about the Semi? How was its interior designed? The driver's seat in the Semi is centrally positioned, and Tesla says this allows for better overall visibility out of the windshield. Behind the driver's seat, there are two additional foldable seats. Semi's steering wheel features several or likely touch buttons for functions like the turn signals and the horn. It essentially takes the display of the Model 3 or Y, splits it down the middle, then puts those items on two separate 15-inch displays. The right display appears to contain the traditional launcher we have in today's Teslas, with access to music, phone, cabin temperature, and more, while the left display contains truck-specific features at the bottom such as tire PSI, trailer air supply, and parking brake functions. However, Tesla isn't taking up the entire display with these features. About one-third of each display appears to be reserved for always-on blind spot camera monitors. Aside from that, the Semi also seems poised to be equipped with dual phone chargers, which would likely be appreciated as drivers would be able to charge their phones and possibly a spare battery pack at the same time. Now here comes the obvious question. Do they both have a sleeper option? 
Volvo's VNR sleepers offer premium touches that give drivers a comfortable place to relax and recharge when regional halls require an overnight stop. A thick layer of insulation combined with some of the industry's quietest engines keeps the cab comfortable and quiet whether you're staying for an hour or the night. The sleeper control panel can be used to lock the doors, adjust bunk heating and cooling, or set audio levels. The cabinets can be configured to include a refrigerator or a microwave, so a hot meal or a cold drink can be available at any time. For comparison, a Tesla Semi is a day cab. This is not a sleeper truck. It is for line haul and local deliveries. However, if Tesla develops the option of a bed on the Semi, they need to configure the truck's height and build an ungodly amount of large charging stations before they can consider running electric for over-the-road trucking. Now, how are the exteriors of the two trucks designed to match their interiors? The Volvo VNR features an exterior that's impossible to ignore. Distinctive contours enhance airflow, while state-of-the-art LED lighting provides improved visibility and reduces maintenance. A short, sloped hood provides a commanding view when navigating through crowded and congested work zones. But what about the Semi? The Tesla Semi has a unique cab construction and arguably the cleanest design we've ever seen on a truck. Tesla said the Semi is equipped with all fuel-saving LED lights and can illuminate the road ahead very well when the vehicle is traveling on poorly lit highways or in adverse weather conditions. And like other Teslas, the headlights of this tractor trailer also feature on, off, and automatic beam adjustment. There's a massive wraparound glass area up front that slopes into the frunk. The glass area is so large that the panels reach all the way to the doors. The smooth surfacing makes the Tesla Semi highly aerodynamic. Which one's safer? The VNR Electric incorporates the highest safety standards in cab and chassis construction, with additional protection built into the battery cage, and includes the latest active safety features such as Volvo Active Driver Assist and Lane Departure Warning. It is forward collision avoidance technology that helps drivers adapt and respond to changing traffic situations to help reduce the risk of a collision. We take camera and radar technology and combine them, working in unison to give the driver the best information available. You're always well protected. Now, a side impact protection barrier is integrated into the mounting system of the battery box. Along with that, Volvo VNR Electric combines iShift with Intelligent Cruise Control, and you get IC. It's a unique system that learns the topography of the road. Later on, it automatically uses its knowledge to save fuel when the Intelligent Cruise Control is engaged. But of course, Tesla's technology when it comes to safety is highly regarded. So what's new with Tesla's Semi technology? The Semi comes with the same safety features as Tesla's existing vehicles, the same kind of standards that have earned Tesla countless accolades. The Tesla Semi is equipped with autopilot and the newest FSD, or full self-driving. The range of safety features includes automatic emergency braking, forward collision warning, and automatic lane keeping assist. If the Tesla Semi senses no driver input, it stays in the lane, comes to a slow and gradual halt, and automatically dials an emergency number. The Semi also has an automatic tire inflation system, along with thermonuclear explosion-proof glass, as standard. Now, which car's brake technology is safer and more groundbreaking? The VNR electric motors can also generate 260 kilowatts of power when in regenerative braking mode, but the tractor has a full-fledged traditional disc brake system as well. There's also rear air suspension. In contrast, Tesla's said regenerative braking with the Semi changes the game since it's safe when going downhill, with brakes never being used to slow the truck down. The truck is that the reliability has to be extremely high, so it's got to, got to be running continuously, can't break down. In standard mode, the regenerative braking is quite strong and allows a careful driver to operate the vehicle without using the friction brakes very often. Undeniably, the Tesla Semi could be a game changer for the trucking industry. However, its success will depend on the answers to questions that Tesla has yet to address and the ability to create the infrastructure needed to accommodate powering these rigs. How do you feel about the matchup between the Semi and the VNR Electric? Which one do you think is the most superior? Let me know your thoughts in the comments section down below, yes? Otherwise, that's it for today's episode. We sincerely thank you for watching and for all of your support of our channel. As always, if you enjoyed our video, please leave us a like, share the video, subscribe to the channel, and ring that bell to stay up to date on exciting developments in the world of EVs and green technology. Once again, we thank you so much, and until the next time we meet, take care and be safe.